I'm sorry. I was just reading a tweet. <laughs> Social media is an addictive concept. It's where you can talk to people, post pictures and videos and send messages through the internet or apps. It means you don't need to talk to people in real life. It's convenient, however, is social media detrimental to society? In this video we'll be exploring if social media can connect people, if it's used for good, but also does it have a negative effect on the younger generation? Yeah, do you think it has a negative effect on people? Yeah, because yeah, there were two people sat at a table uh, sort of my age, um, going out for a meal, and they were just on, on their phones, you know, texting, whatever. And I was sort of looking at them thinking, yeah, you're not even going to talk, socialise or nothing. So yeah, I think it does have a negative effect, but also it has like, um, you know, yeah, there's good things to it, you know, like, because obviously you can uh, get in touch with people, you know, like family who live abroad, let's say, like I have an aunt and uncle who live in um, Australia. You know, I talk to them over Facebook, so there's good and bad things to it. Thanks. I think social media can help people get connected. It can connect them better because obviously, like with social media, it's way easier to communicate with your family or friends. People definitely move away, like my sister. <laughs> my sister, why well, wouldn't be able to speak to her if? If I didn't have social media without having to pay for phones and stuff, definitely it, it helped helped me to, to keep a relationship. Otherwise, otherwise, what I wouldn't have spoke to her in like what how many months now? So yeah, yeah. Oh, gotta be thankful it exists. Yeah. Social media's good side is that it enables people to connect with others um, to ensure that they can have relationships that kind of transcend time and place. So you can have a friend on Facebook who lives on the opposite side of the country or the opposite side of the world and you can still stay in contact and be a part It's almost like a cookie clicker, something that rewards you for clicking it and having a look. So we've got notifications popping up. Oh, I've got to have a look. I'll get on my phone, see who's liked my photo, <coughs> shared my photo, commented. But I think that that does cut into people's everyday lives. You know, They're more glued to their phone than they are to the people in the world around them. I come out with my friends down the pub and they'll be on their phones messaging people or you know, going on their Facebooks. Um, yeah, I think social media has made us much more antisocial in all the ways that can. It is true, young people are addicted to social media, it has formed the fabric of their everyday lives and I think they go to it to stay in contact with people. I think they base their self-esteem on social media, um, you know, how they look, um, how many people have liked or commented on stuff, you know. And the amount of times I'm in lesson trying to teach and I'll go around and people are just sat on their phones, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Snapchat, and they're not working, they're not learning, they're not bettering themselves, all they're doing is kind of throwing themselves down this rabbit hole of social media. You know, what? what's the positive impact that it's given them? I'm not sure it's making them feel any better about themselves, which I think is part of the thing that young people think, you know. Oh, I look at Instagram, it makes me feel better about myself because people tell me I look great or I'm at my friends and they go, oh wow, you look like you're having fun. But I don't think so because I think it creates this anxiety loop. You feel like you have to be on Instagram to get people's recognition for people to think you're living an exciting life. You know, so I think it's it's not a good thing for young people. It's not a good thing for learners. It's not a good thing for young people away from the learning environment. Nathan on Twitter. Nathan said I'm uh, ever so slightly going for eating. What are you doing? What's going on? What's going on in the Twitter world? Nothing at the moment, but lots of things. Nathan, I've got a question for you. Could you delete Twitter for no. a week? No. Could you not? No. Ah. Um, I use it every day, but um, 
If somebody was to say to me, like, go a week without social media, I could do it easily. You could? Yeah. Because everyone who I talk to on, like, Facebook or Snapchat, whatever, I've got their numbers in my phone anyway, so if you need to get in touch with them, go on, just message them. Like, you know, just Use normal. it for my whole day, really. All the time? Yeah, all the time. Every day? Every day. What's your favourite social media? It's WhatsApp or maybe Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, definitely Instagram. It's a bit more lively, like I'm a bit old. Like, even the friends of yours, there's nothing interesting within what they're posting. Mm. While Instagram, you know, fashionista, you can look over or any information that you would. Which is quite good. Yeah. yeah. If I'm not on it for a minute of the day, I'm quite lucky. It's quite good time. Unless I'm watching something, but like in a breakout, it will just always whack on. Whenever Twitter's down, that's like the one out of download. I feel lost without. It's quite sad. Quite sad. So, favourite social media then? Twitter, yeah. Definitely. Over Snapchat. Yeah. Yeah. And Facebook it is my favorite. Well, I'm not that addicted because I found myself even if I didn't use it maybe for a day, I wouldn't be that effective. Like I could handle myself without doing it. Okay, so you think you could go a whole week without using it? A whole week, no. <laughs> so it's a month, but like one day. I is social media tearing people apart? They call it social media, but it's essentially unsocial media. Effectively, everyone's really addicted to social media, Twitter, Snapchat and Instagram, but no one really speaks to each other anymore. While social media can help connect people and maintain friendships, actually seeing people face to face is more important. We should take more time out of our day to have a conversation with each other face to face rather than over the internet.